Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is go over the number of ways of getting different five card poker hands. Since a lot of examples with combinations deal with uh, poker hands, I want to go over the, the, the basic ones, the ones that you're more likely to get if you're playing the game, such as the pair, the two pair, three of a kind, maybe a full house. If you're lucky, royal flush, probably never, but we'll, we'll go over that one as well. Uh, four of a kind, I'm not sure if I said that, but probably the four of the kind four of a kind now just as a reference what I want to do is go over how many ways we can just get a poker hand because I, I do want to put all of these in reference to how many ways or how many total poker hands can we get so let's just go up here right, so the number of poker hands And the notation that I'm going to be using is the NCR notation for combinations. Okay, so for the number of poker hands, it's going to be 52 choose, okay, again, that would be a combination, uh, 5. Which is going to equal 2,598,000. 960 ways. Okay, so it's quite a few ways, a little over two and a half million possible poker hands. Okay, so let's let's start with the pair. Okay, so let's do the pair. All right, so I'm going to do this using the task method again, and there are two tasks. There's the task of getting the pair. All right, so then that's the pair. And then there's the task of getting the other ca other cards or the other stuff. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work. I'm going to put down an example so that we know kind of what we're dealing with here. All right, so pair. Let's do. How about a king? A king, and then there's just three other cards. All right, two conditions on these three cards here, which. Again, we'll deal with over here, but they can't be a king, because if you have a king, that'd be a three of a kind. And if you have two kings, it'd be four of a kind. And then when you're dealing with these three right here, they have to be different ranks. Okay. Oh, before we get started, I, I didn't, I actually didn't mention this. Uh, some terminology here. Um, all right, so you see how you have the ace, the two, the three, the four, and so on. Those are all face value. Uh, those are all the face values. I'm going to refer to them as ranks. So there are 13 total ranks. And then in those ranks, you know, ace, two, three, four, all the way up to king, there are four suits per rank clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Okay, so I'm going to refer to suits and then ranks. Those are the two things I'm going to be using. All right, let's get back to the pair. Okay, so when you're looking at this pair right here, how many ranks? do I have? And I only have one rank, which means when I get delta pair, it means that I have 13 total ranks and I need to choose one of them. Okay, so 13 choose one, that gets me my one rank of the 13 available ranks. Now once you have your rank, how many ways can you get a king or two kings, I should say? Since there are four suits, four total kings, and I only need to choose two of them or be dealt two of them. It's going to be four choose two. Okay, so that's the number of ways of getting your two kings. Now with the other cards, remember that there's two conditions on these two cards. You can't have any repeats. So that means of the 12 available ranks left, we need to choose three completely different ranks. And then for each card so here let's do um, how about hmm, like a maybe a five an ace and a ten alright so you see how these are three different ranks now for each rank there are four possibilities because there are four suits per rank which means how many ways can I get a five there are four ways how many ways can I get an ace there are four ways. How many ways can I get a 10? Four ways. Okay, so the number of pairs 
you would multiply all of this stuff out. So you'd multiply 13 choose 1, 4 choose 2, 12 choose 3, and then I'm just going to write 4 cubed. And when you multiply all of that stuff out, you're going to get 1,098,200 and I, I just lost 240 ways. So a little over 1 million ways to get a pair. Now we had 2.5 million possible hands, so I think that's about a 42% chance of being dealt a pair. Okay, so there's a pair. Let's move on to two pair. Now in the two pair, there are two tasks. My two tasks are going to be getting the two pair, all right, and then the other stuff. Now, I'm just going to write other card because when you're dealt a two pair, that accounts for four of the five cards, which just means that there's one other card left. All right, so we got the two pair and then the other card. All right, then. Uh, an example of a two pair, let's do, say, a king, a king, uh, a nine, nine, and then some other card. Okay, let me make that a little bigger. Okay, so, and I don't know what that card is for right now. That could be anything, as long as it's not a king or a nine. All right, now just taking a look at the two pair, how many ranks are we dealing with? And we're dealing with two different ranks, which means of the 13, I need two of them. So we get 13, choose two, all right, so that deals with getting your two ranks. Now, once you've got dealt the two ranks, so in this case, the two kings, well, how many ways could I have gotten those two kings from the four available kings? And that would have been four, choose two. And then how many ways could I have, so that's there. And then how many ways can I get in the four, or the two nines from the four available nines? And that would also be four, choose two. Now for this mysterious fifth card, the only condition is that it can't be a king or nine. Now, there's two ways of doing this. The easier way would be, well, if it can't be a king or nine, how many available cards are left to be chosen? And there would be 44, since there are eight cards here that for the kings and nines. That means that there's only 44 cards left that aren't a king or nine. But uh, another way of doing it, which is using all the combination stuff, would be how many ranks are left over to choose from. And since we've already dealt with two ranks, that means there's only 11 ranks left. Now, how many of those, or once you've, I'm sorry, once you've been dealt that one rank, okay, so let's say it was a seven, how many ways could you get one seven from four cards? And before, choose one. Now, 11 choose 1 and 4 choose 1 actually multiply out to 44. Okay, so it works out. Now, multiply all of these numbers together to get your two pair, and there's going to be 123,552 ways of getting a two pair. All right, so for one pair, it was a little over a million. For two pair, it's a little over 100,000. So it's not that great. Okay, it's, a, it's a lot less than the pair, but that makes sense. Okay, so that's a two pair. Let's move on to three of a kind. Okay, so there's going to be two tasks here. There's going to be the getting the three of a kind. So I'll write three of a kind. So that's the one task. And then there's the other stuff. So I'll just write other stuff for now. All right, so let's deal ourselves an example of a three of a kind. So let's say I get three, three, no, nah, I don't like threes. Um, let's do a 10, 10, 10. So there's my three of a kind. Now these two remaining cards, they have some conditions. One condition is that it can't be a 10, otherwise it'd be a four of a kind. The other, two, the other condition would be that these can't pair up because otherwise they'd be a full house. So they have to be different ranks. 
Okay, so how many ranks am I dealing with here? And I only got one rank. So that's going to be 13. So 13, choose 1. And then when you've chosen those that rank or been dealt that rank, how many ways can you get three tens from the four available? And that would be 4, choose 3. Now for the other stuff, like I said, there's two conditions. One, it can't be a tw uh, 10, which means that I need, and the, the second condition is that these can't be the same rank, which means that not only do I have 12 available ranks, I have to choose two separate ones. Once you've chosen or been dealt those two ranks, so let's say the 5 and an ace, how many ways can you get one 5 from the four available ones, and that'd be 4 choose 1. How many ways can you get one ace from the four? And that'd be four, choose one. So there you go. That's the number of ways of getting a three of a kind. And when you multiply all of that stuff out, we are going to get 54,912 possible ways. So I'm just going to write ways. So 54,912 ways. All right, so let's move on to the full house. Okay, now the full house shows up quite a bit in movies because the full house is usually the pair, or I'm sorry, the the hand that wins, and then somebody throws up a table and violence ensues, and that's usually what happens in those movies. But let's see how many ways we can get that full house. So we can kind of see the likelihood of someone being dealt a full house. All right, now I'm, I'm going to go a little bit faster now just because you understand, hopefully you understand now how uh, these combinations are working. So we have, uh, let's do an example of a full house first. So let's do like an ace. Let's do three aces. A full house is a, a three of a kind with a pair. So we got three aces and two jacks. All right, so we have two tasks going on. We get the three of a kind, which we know how to do that. And then the pair, which we also know how to do. All right, so of the three of, or in the three of a kind, how many ranks are we dealing with? And again, that's 13 ranks, and we're choosing one of them. And once you've chosen that rank or been dealt that rank, in this case the ace, how many ways can you get three aces from the four? And that would be four, choose three. For the pair, how many ranks are we dealing with? Well, it can't be an ace, so that means there's 12 ranks to choose from, and we're only choosing one rank. Once you've chosen that rank or been dealt that rank, how many ways can you get two jacks from four? And that'd be four, choose two. All right, so you got four numbers to multiply together. When you multiply those out, you're going to get 3,744 ways. All right, so now we're getting, we're getting really small. Two and a half million possible hands, but three, a little little less than 4,000 ways of getting a full house. Okay, so let's do the four of a kind. With the four of a kind, there are two tasks again. There's getting the four of a kind. So that's one task. And then the other task, since this is four cards, there's only one other card left. So I'll just write other card. All right, so... Uh, an example of a four of a kind could be four eights and then, I don't know, a queen. Okay, something like that. So in the four of a kind, how many are we dealing with? How many ranks? And there's only one rank, so that's going to be 13, choose one. Now, once you've got been dealt that rank, how many ways can you get four eights from four eights? And that would be four, choose four. For the other card... It has to be, well, there's 12 available ranks because you can't have another 8. So we're going to choose one of those 12 ranks. And then of those of that one rank, how many ways can you get, say, in this example, one queen from the four available queens? And that's 4, choose 1. And when you multiply out these four numbers, we are going to get 624 ways. Okay, now we're at... We only got eight seconds. How many ways can you get a royal flush? Four ways. You can look that up online. 